up, you fools? Matt, ESC United, your favorite Eurovision channel, continuing the never-ending rehearsal marathon. But we all love it. We all love it. I'm not complaining about it. I'm hungry by now. But we're getting there. This was song or country number 13 rehearsing, 13 out of 15, and that is Austria. Cesar Simpson, nobody but you. And um, this was the second rehearsal, as I pointed out, basically his last his final individual rehearsal. He still has one more dress rehearsal where they all can perform, and then we move on to the actual jury show, show aka uh, dress rehearsal too. So let's talk this through. Any improvements, any disappointments from the first rehearsal? I'm gonna start with you, Fernando. I'm lucky this time because I have seen the first rehearsal and I have seen this rehearsal, so yes. I can compare. Um, at the beginning of the second rehearsal, he had some technical issues. He overtook them and there was improvement. I've noticed some improvement, but more or less it it was this in this on the same page of the first um, rehearsals that I've seen. Um, in my opinion, he got a very good voice, he got a really nice staging. So he's there, of course, with the next rehearsals, we always say, it will improve and it will be perfect for them. Perfect, okay. Yeah, yeah no, you're absolutely right. This was a very interesting rehearsal because, you know, technically he started to perform six times, even though he only gets to perform three times. By now, one time the lift didn't come down in time, so he couldn't jump down, they had to start over. The other time he was not quick enough, or forgot actually to uh, get, get rid of his harness when he was on the platform and he started running off and his um, earpiece came off. And then there was another one, I remember what the other one was, but anyway, he had to start uh, perform six times, uh, only three full run-throughs, but that happens. That's what rehearsals are there for. Um, what do you think, Sean? Was it improvement or what's going on? To be honest, I, I saw both rehearsals. I think because he's such a consistent performer and obviously he, he's done this song over and over again. He knows this like the back of his hand. He's a flawless performer. He, he vocally hits every time. The staging's there. I, I didn't really notice too much of a change, yeah. to be honest with you today. So I can't really add much more than you know we'd already discussed. But it's a solid performance. Um, one thing I can say actually is that the backing vocals today were a lot sharper and a lot better. Yes. They they suited the song so much more. It felt more like a gospel song, which is obviously where this needs to I go. I think they gospel. cranked it up a little in the yeah. beginning, in particular. Yeah, like a gospel and soul kind of feel to it, and uh, they cranked it up. Um, and I think they have changed a few of the maybe the harmonies with each other. Mm. So it it does work better and stronger in the in that respect but yeah um, it's a good performance there's a lot of very cinematic parts to the performance that you know people will be quite impressed with yes. um, and he's, he's just such a likable guy and the audience are gonna lap this up and uh, you know we can only feed off that and I think yes. it's, it's very good performance again from Austria this year they've since they've, they've had Conchita they've they've done so well I in know. Eurovision. Can you imagine that was a time where Austria was kind of sucking at Eurovision? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's such a sea change but this can happen with Eurovision and I, I hope the same thing happens for Portugal but yeah a, again a very very solid very modern respectable entry from Austria and I think they've staged it really well again. No, no I, I agree with that as well and it was very interesting because you know his first two run-throughs kind of flopped and there were technical issues and it can be frustrating but he's such a professional he just pulled it through and when he had his first full run-through he was just like nothing ever happened and um, I would be like oh getting frustrated so it just shows what a professional he is um, I agree with exactly what you just said I definitely agree that the backup vocal part really really made a huge difference I miss a little bit the gospel aspect of it that felt a little muted the first time around but now it really came out and shining and um, the first part you you know where the uh, bridge comes down all slowly and stuff that already is you know perfect initially in the first run through i felt as you know that running over the past the catwalk seemed a little awkward the camera angles made it look weird and he was running too much this time around actually it felt way more genuine and right um, he walks out down there slowly and then trying to engage the audience. Granted, there's no one there right now, so it always seems funny when you see like, come on, come on, but no one's there. But um, he doesn't run as much and the timing is way better. I really, really enjoy that aspect of it. And I think that's a major improvement. It makes it way more complete. So I think this was a major improvement from the first one and that's kind of how it works usually in most cases, not counting the little you know mishaps with those that didn't work. Um, so um, the question is, with all the competition, is Austria going to qualify? I am so scared to even, I don't even want to guess, but uh, well, let's do it anyway. Um, follow your gut, follow your gut. Um, this may change, this may change, but for now, after watching this, is Austria going to qualify? Fernando. I will be disappointed if not. So for me, it's a yes. So a yes from Fernando. Sean, I know it's not an easy one, but tell me. 
I'm actually not as scared for Austria as I am for wow, the majority. Yeah. I've, I think this is one of the safer qualifiers, I think, in the semi-final. It's got broad appeal. Um, it, you know, this type of music is different for Eurovision, but it's accessible. It's a good performance. He's a good performer. Um, you know, he's going to be very likable, and it will shine through in the performance. I, I, I think it's going to be a safe qualification for Austria. This is a very tough semi. Just a different part of it because you know uh, the, the songs, whether it's Macedonia, Croatia, Austria, they're all some of my favorites. All of them in a row. It's really, really hard, and it sounds silly, but it is one of my favorite songs. So it feels as I'm biased towards it, and maybe that's why I'm negative towards it as well, thinking. Oh, it's not going to make it, right? My favorites never make it. So, um, but it is such a good song. It's really good staging. And even though I'm not quite as confident uh, as you are, I am going to say yes as well. So uh, we all believe that Austria is going to make it through. So according to us, Cesar, see you in the finals. Don't let us down. Please. Anyway, um, do you agree with us or are we wrong? I'll leave your thoughts in the comments below and um, follow us on social media and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so. We will be back soon with our next video because our Greece is about to rehearse. See you then.